the big challenge that we have uh, year after year is to um, find a real balance between uh, living legends, discoveries, uh, jazz stuff, some less jazz stuff, but always influenced by jazz, etc., etc. So um, this year we have some real living legends from uh, from James Taylor to Liza Minnelli, for example. Uh, Ron Carter is there. Uh, Stanley Clark is there, etc., etc. So there's a lot of let's say, old timers. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, there are some young people that are already living legends. I'm thinking about Nora Jones, for example. Even if uh, she has only three studio albums right now, she's already a kind of legend of her home. We remember, everybody remembers the first time that she played uh, at the Jazz Fest, something like six years ago at the Club Soda. Uh, at that time, we already felt something special uh, with her. So uh, there's a lot of, uh, of living legends, a lot of discoveries also in all kind of music. Uh, it's important to bring all kind of music to the Jazz Fest because um, if we're not doing it for uh, some people, some singers, some musicians, they will never play uh, in Montreal. I'm thinking, uh, for example, about um, uh, Moriarty, uh, a band from uh, France, but uh, it's a mix of uh, people from uh, United States and France based in Paris. They play the kind of um, jazzy folk thing something like that but in the meantime uh, there are already stars over there uh, they sold something like 150,000 cds over there it will be the first time that they will play in montreal and they will play in the intimacy of the savoy so it's really something for a band like that um, going from the olympia in paris to the savoy in montreal but that's the challenge of playing here in montreal for the first time during the jazz fest if there's still a doubt that hip-hop is coming from jazz, I think people have to see Sarah M.K. Sarah M.K., uh, she's a Montreal-based uh, singer, and I think she's really the missing link between jazz and hip-hop, just like, uh, I don't know, Erika Badu, for example, uh, could be in the United States. So f for me, Sarah M.K. is really someone to discover during the Jazz Fest, but there's a lot of real hip-hop artists. I'm thinking about Deltron 3030, for example. Uh, Deltron 3030 is a super band, um, uh, hip-hop super band with uh, Kid Koala, Dan the Automator, and Del Da Funky Homo Sapiens. They did an album in 2000, and there will be a second one in a, in a few weeks. And I think it's their real first tour. And they will be playing during the Jazz Fest at the Metropolis. So it's, we're, we were talking about living legends. Those are living legends, but in another genre. Um, but there's also some newcomers. I'm thinking about Danny Brown, for example. For many people, Danny Brown is the future of hip hop uh, coming from the East Coast. There's also Stali coming from uh, Florida uh, that will be dropping during the Jazz Fest at this um, late night series. Uh, this year, this late night series will be at uh, SAT and not at Club Soda, just as it used to be uh, a few years ago. So, uh, a lot of hip hop, and you know what? There are still so many different concerts coming in because we didn't talk about the outdoor programming yet. So, stay tuned! <laughs>